Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make another Minecraft skin statue. This time, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Iron Man skin out of the Marvel Avengers skin pack that was released on the Xbox 360. I had originally planned to make my own Avengers statues, but Minecraft beat me to it. What can you do? Just giving you a bit of a twirl of the skin now. That's what you can expect. So, if you want to make him, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need Never Brick, Red Wool, Yellow Wool, Block of gold, dark grey, light grey, and finally, white wool. And they're the only colours that we're going to be needing. Surprisingly enough, he rarely doesn't use too many. So once you've got those, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right here. You're going to want to start out with this little sequence of colours in a row on the floor. You're going to want to do one never brick, two red, two never brick, two red, one never brick to give you the base layer of our Iron Man statue. So that's what you want to have, and of course, pause out if necessary. Once you've done that, we're going to be kicking this into a higher gear because otherwise this is going to take us like 50 minutes. It's quite a detailed statue. So for the next row, on top of that, you just want an entire row of red wool, like so. The row after that is a copy of the base row, so just Never brick on the ends of the row, in the two center spots of the row, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, it's just an entire row of red again. For the next row, you're going to want to do two red in the two center spots of the row, a single yellow wool either side of the red, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, you're going to want to Pretty much copy the base layer again. You're just going to want to do two never brick in the two center spots of the row, a single never brick on each end, and then red everywhere else to give you something which should look like that. And that marks the halfway point for the legs, so I'm showing you this now. Pause this if necessary. Once you've done that, we can work our way up. So for the next row, and that kind of looks like a face, I think it's a yellow. As a matter of fact, it doesn't look like a face, it's just the yellow throwing it off. It kind of looks like eyes, but for the next row, you're just going to want to do an entire row of red wool. For the next row, two never brick in the two center spots of the row, a single never brick on the ends of the row, and then yellow wool everywhere else. For the next row, you're going to want to place yellow where you placed never brick on the previous row, and then dark gray where you placed yellow on the previous row to give you that. For the next row, you're going to want to place gold where you placed yellow on the previous row, and you're going to want to place light grey where you placed dark grey on the previous row. For the next row, you're going to want to place a single red wool on the ends of the row, a single dark grey coming in towards the centre right next to the red, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, and the final row of the legs, you're just going to want to do an entire row of red wool, like so. So, once you've done that, you're going to want to have something which should look like that. The most detailed leg section that I've seen in a while. And unfortunately for us, that is one of the easier parts of this statue. So, once you've done that, you have done the entire leg section, so pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, we can work our way up to the torso. So for the first row of the torso, here's what you want to do. You're going to want to do two red in the two center spots of the, of the row, a single red on the ends of the row, and then never break everywhere else. For the next row, it's probably just going to be easiest if we do this from left to right, just calling out the colors. So going left to right on top of the next row, one yellow, one red, one never brick, two red, one never brick, one red, finally one yellow. For the next row, a little easier, a single yellow on the ends of the row, a single red coming in towards the center next to the yellow, and then never brick everywhere else. For the next row, a single red on the ends of the row, never brick coming in towards the center from the red, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, you're going to want to do two never brick in the two center spots of the row, a single red either side of the never brick, and then never brick everywhere else. For the next row, you're going to want to place a single yellow wool on the ends of the row, two never brick coming in towards the center from the yellow, and then red in the two center spots of the row to give you this, and I believe 
Yep, finally managed to go. Right, we are halfway up the torso. I don't usually manage to uh, to realise when we reach halfway. I always uh, I always manage to do it on like the seventh or eighth row and then realise that I haven't shown you guys what we've done yet. But that is halfway up the torso. Make sure that you've done that right. So pause that if necessary, of course. And once you've done that, we can work our way and finish up the rest of the torso. So here's what you want to do for the next row. You're going to want to place a single never brick on the ends of the row. You're going to want to place a single yellow wall coming in towards the center and then red everywhere else. For the next row, you're going to want to do two white in the two center spots of the row, a single red either side of the white and then never brick everywhere else. For the next row, you're going to want to place two white in the two center spots of the row again a single never brick on the ends of the row, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, single never brick on the ends, red everywhere else. For the next row, a single light grey on the ends of the row, and then never brick everywhere else. And for the twelfth and final row, you're going to want to have this. You want to do two dark grey coming in from the ends towards the centre, leaving those four blocks right there and you just want to fill those in with never brick to give you something which should look in total like this. Look how detailed that is. That's pretty nice. I like that. So that is what you want for the entire torso so far. Pause that if necessary of course. Once you've done that we can work our way onto the arms. So the arms are quite simple. They begin in line with the first row of the torso, which is this one right here where we have this red and the never brick right next to it. What you're going to want to do from this row on the right and left hand side, you're going to want to extend out the row with four red wool either side. So one, two, three, four. And on the other side as well, one, two, three, four. To give you the first row of both of the arms, we're going to be working on this right hand side first and here's how I like to do the arms. I like to simply just call out the colours and I like to work from outwards coming inwards towards the centre, coming towards the torso. So here's what you want to do for the second row of the arm. So outwards, twin, just calling out the colours. Two red, two never brick. Next row, entirely red. Next row, one never brick, one red, two never brick. Next row, entirely never brick. Next row, one never brick, two yellow, one never brick. Next row, one never brick, two red, one never brick. Next row, one never brick, two yellow, one never brick. Next row, entirely yellow. Next row, two yellow, one gold, one yellow. Next row, one red, three never brick. Next row, two red, two never brick. And once you've done that, that should just connect up nicely to the top of the shoulder and that should give you Iron Man's entire arm. Even the arms are detailed. A lot frustrating, but at the same time, it makes a nice statue. So that is what you want for the entire arm. I notice it is going to be getting slightly dark, but I want to get the other arm done first. Since you've already done this arm, the other arm is just a mirror image. So I'm going to be doing this slightly quicker, but in the same fashion. So pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, you can work your way into the other arm. And the other arm, like I said, slightly faster, but it's the exact same as the other arm. Outwards twin, next row, two red, two never brick. Next row, entirely red. Next row, one never brick, one red, two never brick. Next row, entirely never brick. Next row, one never brick, two yellow, one never brick. Next row, one never brick, two red, one never brick. Next row, one never brick, two yellow, one never brick. Next row, entirely yellow. Row after that, two yellow, one gold one yellow. Next row, one red, three never brick. And to finish this all off, two red and two never brick to give you something which should look a little bit like that. Doesn't that look fantastic? I think so. So that is what you want to have for Iron Man's entire torso, arms included. 
pause it if necessary, of course. As I said, did that arm slightly faster, but you have the other arm to work off if needs be. So, pause it if necessary, of course. I think you can quite still easily see what we've done. And just to zoom out a little bit before we cut out. This is what you want to have overall. This is the entire front of the statue, minus the head, of course. So once you've reached this point right here, we're going to be moving on to the back. And I'm going to be jumping straight into the back once the daylight's with us again. So I will be back in a second. All right, so once you've reached this point right here, it's time for us to move on to the back of the statue. Here's what you want to do. You're going to want to come down to the bottom of your statue. You're going to want to come round the back here. And this bit's are always difficult to explain, but it's really easy to do. So you're just going to want to, from the ends of each side of the feet, you're just going to want to do a row of three never break coming back. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. Like that, coming back out of the statue. What you then want to do is connect those two rows together, those two rows of three never break together, from the back blocks with a row of red, like that. And in doing that, you have given yourself the base layer of the back of the statue. Because what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be doing the entire back of the statue, just as we've done the front. So all you're going to want to do, until we move on to the sides, is just focus on these eight back blocks right here. These eight that I'm hovering over. So what you're going to want to do, continuing on to the back, is for the next row, after this, you're just going to want to do... Two never brick in the two centre spots of the row, a single never brick on the ends of the row, and then red everywhere else. That row should be familiar to you. For the next row, you just want to copy the previous, so never brick on the ends and the middle, like that. For the next row, you're just going to want to throw never brick on the ends and the middle again, except this time you're just going to want to do light grey everywhere else instead of red. For the next row, where you place never brick on the previous row, you're going to place red. And where you place light grey, you're going to place dark grey. For the next row, you're going to want to, again, we're back to this. Never brick in the centre and on the ends of the row, and then red everywhere else. For the next row after that, you just want to copy the previous, so... Never brick on the centre and the ends, red everywhere else. For the next row, where you placed never brick on the previous row, you're going to want to place yellow wool, like so. And then you're just going to want to place red everywhere else. For the next row, you're just going to want to place yellow on the two center spots of the row, yellow on the ends, and then gold everywhere else. The next row is just a copy of the previous, so place gold where there is gold and yellow where there is yellow like so. For the next row, you're going to want to do two yellow on the ends of the row, coming in towards the center, leaving those four blocks empty, and then fill those in with red wool. For the twelfth and final row of the back of the legs, you just want an entire row of red wool, like that. And let me just show you what the back of the legs look like. Even the back of this statue is quite nicely detailed. This is where they usually skimp on the actual skin packs. They kind of make really nice fronts and heads and stuff, but they kind of skimp on the back, kind of like I do as well, in all fairness, but... This one is actually really nicely done, so that is the entire back of the legs of Iron Man. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to work up to the back, so... Coming up to the back. First row of the back is quite simple. You just want to do two red in the two centre spots of the row, a single never brick either side of the red, and then red everywhere else. Like so. For the next row, you just want to copy the previous, so red where there's red, and never brick where there's never brick. For the next row, you're going to want to place a single red on the ends of the row, a single yellow coming in towards the centre, and then never brick everywhere else. For the next row, you're just going to want to, similar to the previous row, except it's probably going to be simpler if I explain it from left to right looking at it. So going left to right, here's what you want to do. You want to do one red, one yellow, one never brick, two red, one never brick, one yellow, one red. So kind of similar to the previous row, I suppose, but it's just easier to go left to right instead of how I was going to do it. So for the next row, after that, Two red in the two centre spots of the row, a single never brick either side of the red, 
and then red everywhere else. Next row, just copy the previous, so... Red where there's red, never brick where there's never brick. For the next row, quite simple. Two red on the ends of the row coming in towards the centre, never brick everywhere else. And I believe we are actually at this point a little more than halfway up the back, so I'm just going to show you what we've done. Yep, I didn't manage it this time on the back. I managed it with the torso, but I believe we are seven rows in. Yeah, we are. Anyway, we are a little more than halfway up the back, seven rows in. We've overshot it by one. That's what you want to have so far. It's quite simple. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we can continue with the rest of the back. So, for the next row, you're going to want to place two gold in the two center spots of the row, two never brick coming out from the gold towards the ends of the row, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, somewhat similar, except I think this is a left to right job again. So going from left to right, you're just going to want to do one never brick, one red, one never brick, two yellow, one never brick, one red, one never brick, like so. For the next row, <laughs> this row again, two never brick in the two centre spots of the row, a single never brick on the ends of the row, and then red everywhere else. That's a recurring theme. For the next row, you're just going to want to do two light grey wool coming in from the ends of each row towards the centre, and red everywhere else. For the next row, same as the previous, except dark grey, where there is light grey. So, throw dark grey on top of the light grey, red everywhere else. To give you something which should look, I suppose I should only show you the upper half so far, to give you something which should look like that. Not too hard whatsoever, I think. Pause that if necessary. Let me show you the entire back section. Kind of looks like a torpedo on his back or something. Perhaps I need to look at the back of the Iron Man suit. Maybe it does look like that. That's what you want to have for the entire back so far. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, we can move on to the back of the arms. And the back of the arms are actually somewhat simple. That's actually a lie. I'm looking at them now. They could be easier. So what you're going to want to do for the back of the arms... Similar to how we start at the front of the arms, you're going to want to start off by extending the first row of the back out either side by four with your red wall. So one, two, three, four, and the other side as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, like that. Uh, just like on the front, we're going to be starting on this side first. Since we're on the back, it's the left side, but we started on the right-hand side of the front. We're starting on the same side as we did the front. And what you're going to want to do... Just like I did on the front, I'm just going to be calling out colours going from outwards to inwards. Next row, on top of this row of four red, you're going to want to do two red, two never brick. Next row after that, three red, one never brick. Next row after that, one never brick, one... Oops. <laughs> What's my colours? We did one never brick, one red, two never brick. Next row, one red, one yellow, two red. Next row, entirely red. Next row, one never brick, one yellow, one red, one never brick. Next row, one never brick, two red, one never brick. Next row, two never brick, two red. Next row, entirely red. Next row, one red, one never brick, two red. Next row, and the final row, three red, one never brick. To give you something which should look like that. And I feel as though I did that quite quickly, but in all fairness, just by looking at the arm here, it probably wouldn't be too much trouble just for you to copy it. So that is what you want for the entire back of the arm. I can't believe it's getting dark already. Pause this if necessary. Alright, so now moving on to the other arm, and just as with the front, both of the back of the arms are symmetrical, so if you manage to do one, the other one should be quite simple. Moving on. Again, Outwards to win, just stacking on rows on rows. So, next row, on top of the first row, is two red, two never break. Next row, three red, one never break. Next row, one never break, one red, two never break. Next row, one red, one yellow, two red. Next row, entirely red. Next row, one never break, one yellow, one red, one never break. Next row, one never brick, two red, one never brick. Next row, two never brick, two red. Next row, entirely red. 
Next row, one red, one never break, two red. Next row, and the final row, three red, one never break, to give you something which should look a little bit like that. Quite easy. So, pause that if necessary. Let me just get everything in the shot now, or the whole back, I should say. That's what you're going to want to have with the back and both of the back of the arms as well, so pause at that if necessary. Once you've done that, and just to give you an overall shot. Alright, so that is what you want for the entire back of the statue. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we can move on to the side. So I'm going to be starting on this side, right here. Why are animals always in my creations? Why can't they just leave me alone? Here's how I like to do the sides. Starting with the legs, of course, I like to just build the left column up first, and then the right column. So left column going straight up, and the right column going straight up. And I like to do the same with the arms as well. So starting with this left column here, off the legs, here's what you want to do directly on top of this never brick. You want to do two never brick, one yellow, one never brick, four red, one, two, three, four, one never brick, one red, and finally one gold. That is what you want for the left column of the legs. Pause that if necessary. Right column. You're going to want to do, on top of the never brick, three red going up. One never brick. Four red. One never brick. One red. And finally, one gold. And that gives you the entire side of legs. Look at the detail. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, it's time to move up to the arms. So... For the first thing, for the arms, you're just going to want to fill in the entire bottom of the hands in with red wool, like that, just so that the statue is airtight, and in doing that, you'll have made the first row of the side of the arms. One problem, that's wrong. You just want to knock out that block there and replace it with a never brick. So, like that. What you then want to do, and as I said, I like to do the arms the exact same as I like to do the side of the legs, working in this left column here, going straight up, here's what you want to do. You want to do... Two red, one never brick, three red, one never brick, and then the rest is just red, like so. Moving on to the right column, you're just going to want to do this. On top of this never brick here, two red, one never brick, three red, one yellow, one gold, one yellow, and then to finish it all off, just two red to take us up to the top of the shoulder like that. So that is what you want for the side of the arm. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, we're just going to do the top of the shoulder. And the top of the shoulder is quite simple. However, different to most statues. So you're going to want to fill in these two rows entirely in with red. So the first two. But then you're just going to want to do a row of never brick there, as you can see. So you just want to connect the never brick that we have on the back to the never brick that we have on the front there. So that is what you want for the top of the shoulder. Pause that if at all necessary. And let me just show you the whole side of the statue all together, just because. Alright, so that is what you want to have for the entire side of the statue. So pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we can work our way over onto the other side. And this side is going to be extremely easy. And here's why. Once you're on the other side of your statue, just look directly forward. What do you see? I see schematics. So all you have to do on this side of the statue is just look directly forward and copy what you've already done on the other side. They are both the same. There's no reason for me to give you any instructions. You already have them directly in front of your eyes. So I'm going to waste no time with this side. I'm just going to copy what I have on the other side of the statue. The only thing that you won't see, of course, is when you get to the side of the arms, remember to knock out that block and replace it with a never brick. Everything else you'll be able to see. So uh, just copy what you can see on the other side. Red all the way up to the top. And then two red for the top of the shoulder. And then never brick coming inwards like that. Yep. So just to show you this side of the statue. Didn't look at my plans whatsoever. I just looked directly forward. And there you have it. Carbon copy of the other side. Obviously, I copied the other side. So there you have it. Pause this if you need to catch up if you're still working on that. But once you have reached this point and 
Do remember to do the top of the shoulders, by the way, before we do move on. You may forget that, I don't know. Then again, we'd be moving on to the head and you'd see if you'd forgotten it, so I suppose that was a lot redundant to say. But regardless, once you have reached this point right here, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to move on to the head. And unfortunately, the head is more complicated than most, but here's what you want to do. Once you have reached this point right here, once you have indeed done the entire front, entire back, and entire sides of the statue, you want to come right round to the front of your statue and you want to come right to the top. And on top of the eight original blocks of the torso, these eight right here, you're going to want to stack eight never brick on top of them like this. So, you're going to want to have that. What you're then going to want to do, in front of that row of eight never brick you've just done, you're going to want to do another row of eight never brick. And then, what you're going to want to do, in front of this row of never brick, as a matter of fact, it's a little more complicated than what I was going to do, since this row in front of the never brick here is going to be the working row of the face. It's going to be the first row, and it's somewhat detailed. So, here's, here's what you want for a side view. You only just want to have one overhanging row of never brick here, and as I said, this row right here in front of this is going to be the working row, and here's what you want to do. You're going to want to place two gold in the two center spots of the row, a single yellow, either side of the gold, never brick, either side of the yellow, and then red on the ends of the row, like that, to give you the first row of the face. What you want to do for the second row, and obviously the second row is going to be on top of the row that you've just made, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to do a single red on the ends of the row, a single never brick coming in towards the center of the row, Never brick on top of the two center spots, and then yellow everywhere else. That was a complicated row, or at least a complicated way of describing it. Next row, single red on the ends of the row, yellow everywhere else. Next row, complete row of yellow. It's been a while since we've had a simple row. Next row after that, two yellow in the center spots of the row, a single yellow on the ends of the row, and then white everywhere else. Next row, single never brick on the ends of the row, yellow everywhere else. Next row, two never brick in the two center spots of the row, two yellow coming out towards the ends of the row from the never brick, and then red everywhere else. Next row, two red in the two center spots of the row, a single red on the ends of the row, and then yellow everywhere else to give you Iron Man's face. It's a pretty nice looking face. I like it. So, what you're going to want to do, once you have done that, get a little ahead of myself, what I should say is, that is Iron Man's entire face. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, that's a much better order. It is time for us to move on to the rest of the head. So here's what you're going to want to do, once you have done the entire face here, of course, pause that if necessary. So, coming around to the back of the head, where we started this off, this row of eight never brick here, what you're going to want to do is just extend back this row of eight never brick with your red wall over the back of the statue until you have two overhanging rows of red wall. So you're going to want to have something which from the side, a better way to look at it, looks a little something like that. So as you can see, the front and back of the head overhang the front and the back of the statue by two rows. That's what you want to have. So once you've done that, Here's what you want to do. It's time to go to work on the back of the head. So we've just got to modify this back row first. Uh, the second block in, coming in from the ends of the row like that, wants to be replaced with never brick. So that is the first row of the back of the head. You just had to knock out those two blocks. For the next row, for the back of the head, and of course working on top of this row right here, here's what you want to do. You want to do two red in the two center spots of the row, a single never brick, either side of the red, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, you just want to copy the previous, so red where there's red and never brick where there's never brick. Next row, two never brick in the two center spots of the row, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, entire row of red. Very easy. For the next row, it's this row again. You want to do two red in the two center spots of the row, a single never brick, on each end, and then red everywhere else. 
I have a feeling that I said two red in the center of the row. I apologize, I of course meant never brick. Two never brick in the center, never brick on each end, and then red everywhere else. For the next row, an entire row of red. Row after that, and this is the eighth and final row, you're going to want to do two never brick in the two center spots of the row, and then red everywhere else. And that is the back of Iron Man's head. Quite simple, pretty easy. Those words mean the same thing, I don't know why I said both of them. Alright, so that is what you want for the entire back of the head. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we can work our way onto the sides of the head. And I'm going to be starting on this side right here first. And just like with most things on the statue, all I'm going to be doing to explain the side of the head is I'm just going to be working from left to right, just calling out colours, stacking rows on rows on rows. So, for the second row of the side of the head, directly on top of this one right here, here's what you want to do. As I said, left to right, from back to front, you just want to do four red, one never brick, one red. For the next row, two red, two never brick, two red. For the next row, one red, one never brick, two red, one never brick, one red. Next row is just a copy of the previous, so just copy what you have on the previous row. Next row, Two red, two never brick, two red. Next row, entirely never brick. Next row, entirely red. Very easy for the side of the head. Of course, we are only working with the six blocks, but still, still easy. So that is what you want for the side of Iron Man's head. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, you can work your way over to the other side. And here's how I'm going to be doing this. Just like with the sides of the statue, there's no point in me giving you any instructions here because all you need to know is it's just directly in front of you. Just look. It's right there. Just copy it. There's there's nothing there's nothing simpler than this. You just copy what you've got on the other side of the head. There's no reason for me to give you any instructions when you can just have a much easier time copying what you've already done. And there you go. Done in a flash. Alright, so that is what you want for the other side of Iron Man's head. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, all we have to do is the top of the head, and the top of the head is extremely easy. Here's what you want to do. This is the front of the head here. Just behind these two red blocks, you want to place two never brick right there. So, just to give you a front-to-back perspective, you just want to place two never brick right there. Everything else is red. So, just to do this... Fill in the entire top of the head in with red, other than those two never brick blocks, of course. So, as you can see, that is what you want for the top of the head. Very easy, very simple. So, once you have reached this point right here, guys, you have finished the entire statue. Look at him. Look how glorious he is. That's a nice statue. I like that. So, the tutorial is over at this point. There is nothing left for me to show you other than my little 360 degree view walk around of Iron Man, as I like to throw at the end of these things. Just, uh, I just like to show you what the statue comes out looking like. I've changed my mind. I thought 4 was my, uh, was my favourite Avengers statue, but I've got to say, I've warmed up to Iron Man. The only reason that I didn't initially like this statue is because you have to use the never brick for the the red, the darker red. But you know, it's grown on me. It's grown on me. I really do love this statue. The amount of detail is crazy. I would have never have put this amount of detail into my Iron Man statue had I made it. It's it really is a wonderful statue. So there you have him. That is the last Avenger. I do plan on making Agent Coulson and maybe a couple of others out of the Avengers skin pack, but that is the final Avenger. I have made all of them for you, except, of course, uh, b -b -b crap, what's his name? The Archer. Ah, no, I can't believe... Hawkeye. Hawkeye, it came back to me. I've not made Hawkeye. I don't really plan to. I might do it. I probably won't. So... I hope this was easy enough to follow. I realise that this video probably took quite a while. 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should think about subscribing. I have plenty more stuff like this on my channel. I have tutorials ranging from YouTube statues, skin statues, houses, pixel art. The list goes on. Thanks for watching.